Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React. Today we are going to learn about how to add the correct React credit card input into your React project. So let's get started. Before those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. Sometimes we have a requirement like uh, we have to add the credit card input where we have the all the validations, whether it's to be card is valid, whether it's the month is correct, whether the CVC is correct okay so let's add some uh, correct one so so this is correct that's a visa if i add this one expiry year cannot be in the past okay so i will add this one and cvv okay done and if you press any of the numeric it will not going to accept it okay so you can see that if i add the numeric it's not adding okay so the, the, that check is also there if I'm going to add some wrong card, what would it will do? Okay, so I will add any of the random card. You can see card is card number is invalid. So add whether we have added the visa. Now we will add the MasterCard. Let's copy this and add this. You see that MasterCard is master MasterCard icon is there, right? So you can go with the another one also American Express. So I will add this one also. You can see American Express icon is there. So I think this is pretty much good if we have a, a such kind of requirement, right? So let's dive into the code level, which package I am using. That is React credit card input. Okay. So this package I am using and the downloads are pretty much good. Okay. So let's move to the next one. So you have to install this package into your react project right okay after the installation what we have to do you have to import the credit card input from the react credit card input and after this switch code we have to write so here we have the code that is this one custom input render so you have to handle this one because this is workable okay so if these have the handlers also so they have the functions to handle the number change expiry change okay and the card change so whenever there is a change, you, if you want to perform any actions, you can just go and perform this action over here. Okay. And set all the values in the state and send it to the front end, back end, wherever you want to send, you can send the data. Right. So here you can see that CVC change and the E with the event. So you can get the E dot target dot value. You get the value also. You can see in the console. Okay. So here you can see that number change number change right if i go and just add this one 24 you can see that card input expiry change okay so on the behalf of it you can do whatever action you want to perform okay so let's check some of the props they have okay so here you can see that the input renders handle card number change handle card number is change handle card number blur okay so they have the all the functions that you can use into your project to enhance the functionality of the react credit card input okay the next we have the custom text labels if you want to define input component okay so these are the you can say that the props that you can use into your project okay available props right card they have the card number input props card number input element props right value card number this card number change on blur on error okay so you can go with this one okay so and any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day